My thoughts on the suburb of Armadale in Perth is that it's an affordable region within Perth. You know, you can get to the Perth CBD in 30 to 40 minutes. It literally reminds me a lot about where I grew up in Mount Druitt in Western Sydney. So it's the humble beginnings, rough kind of area. Many people say it has a stigma and it's, you know, rough area, etc. meaning higher crime, crime rates in some pockets. In saying that, we know what's happened to Western Sydney in Blacktown and Penrith and Mount Druitt. Houses used to be 200,000, now houses are like 1.2 million. So regardless of the area and the demographic and so on and so forth, proximity to a major capital city over time, it always wins. Capital growth always happens regardless. I wish I could go back a couple years ago and buy houses because you could get houses literally like 250, 260. And now houses are like 400,000 minimum or like 350 you can get a kind of like a rundown one. The land alone, and that's inflation again. Inflation is pushing the cost of building properties up. So you've got these houses in Armadale for on like six, 700 square meter blocks. Everyone's been buying for like 280, 300, 350. Now the median price is like pushed up to like 400,000. I believe it will probably hit that 500, 550K range within the coming years, two, three, four years, the houses will be nothing under 500,000. Right now, it's hard to pick up houses, even average ones under 400,000. A year ago, it was houses, you could pick them up for 300 and 280. It is a area that's a little bit further out. A lot of people are buying there. I know a lot of investors that I know of, and even just, you know, on the property forums and all the chats, everyone's talking about buying houses out there because it's affordable. It's also very similar to you know the Logan City Council in Brisbane, and we know what happened there as well. I was buying houses in Woodridge, in Logan, in all throughout those areas, and even in Ipswich for like 270,000, 250,000. They're 500, 550 now as well. It's an affordability area that's a little bit further out. Yes, I would stay away from some pockets and some streets, circles in Armadale because they're a lot rougher than others. You can buy there, you can make money. The yields are good. The area has grown a lot. It is growing a lot. I see it growing more over the next two, three years. If you're gonna buy multiple properties, you know, you might buy a house up there. You might buy a property in a better kind of area to kind of diversify. Like I bought units right near the beach in Perth that are you know around like very expensive areas where like you cannot buy a house there because for an investment strategy because a house would be like two or three or five million dollars but you can buy a unit or a townhouse there for like 250 300 000. you might diversify from buying a house in one of the rougher areas to buying like a unit in one of the ritzy fancy expensive areas so that way you get the best of both worlds just like when i bought in queensland years ago i would buy properties a couple few in logan then i'd buy some that were in the, the rougher areas then i'd buy some that were in the Gold Coast, that were like very nice blue chip kind of locations as well. So you can mix and match, have a bit of both.